We often feel that we are the masters and makers of our life. We do what we like to do. My dear sisters and brothers, praise be to God. In today's gospel, we have heard that the Jews were finding fault with Jesus and that they were trying to kill him because Jesus healed a person on the Sabbath and that he was claiming that God was his father. Jesus' attitude to Sabbath derives from his father. He claims a special closeness to God and has a special relationship to his father, a relationship that issues in his being the son of God. And this intimate and close relationship of Jesus to his father justifies in healing and doing other liberative works on the Sabbath what God does. Jesus says, my father is still working and I am also working. Jesus is one with the father in all his actions. Jesus sees the father doing and he does the same thing as the father does. God was working with Jesus in all his actions which he performed during his earthly life. God's redeeming and healing presence was always in every action of Jesus. He completed his creative work and he rested. But God never ceases to work for the world and for his humanity. He continues to carry out his saving and sustaining actions in the world. He continues to conserve his creation he engages himself in the healing work among his people. Many people do experience the healing touch of God through Jesus. God is constantly at work in the world through his son. The second point that Jesus makes in today's gospel regarding his relationship to his father is his obedience. He obeyed his father willingly. He did nothing that was contrary to his father's will. He did everything what his father wanted him to do. Everything that he did was out of his profound love and obedience to his father. That is why he says, I can do nothing on my own authority but only what he sees the father doing. Jesus always relied on his father and he never did anything independently of his father. We human beings are just opposite to that. We often feel that we are the masters and makers of our life. We do what we like to do. Nobody should dictate to us what we have to do. We rely on our own capabilities, intelligence and our human talents to carry out our plan and dreams. As the children of God, we can turn our minds and hearts to God so that we can draw inspiration from God for our day-to-day -day activities. Can I be able to say, I will do only those things which the Lord wants me to do? During this season of Lent, am I ready to do the will of God in my life? Amen.